Hello students, in this video, let's solve some problems based on mirror formula. This video is based on the chapter light, reflection and refraction. Before moving to the questions, let's first recall what is mirror formula. The formula which gives relationship between image distance, object distance and focal length of a spherical mirror is known as mirror formula. The mirror formula is written as 1 by V plus 1 by U is equal to 1 by F where V is the distance of the image from the mirror, U is the distance of the object from the mirror and F is the focal length of the mirror. The mirror formula has three values in it. So if any two values are known, the third value can be calculated. But if you need to use this formula in a word problem, you have to use the new Cartesian sign convention for spherical mirrors. While applying the Cartesian sign, we have to remember the following things. All distances are measured from pole of the mirror. The distances measured in the same direction as that of the incident light are taken as positive. Distances measured against the direction of incident light are negative. Distances measured upward and perpendicular to principal axis is positive and distances measured downward from the principal axis as negative. Now let's apply these sign convention for various distances in a concave mirror. In a concave mirror we usually keep the object on the left side. As object distance is measured from pole, it is opposite to the direction of the incident light. Hence, object distance in concave mirror that is U will have negative sign. If you can see here, the real image formed is in front of the mirror. So again, the distance measured will be against the incident light. Hence, image distance will also have a negative sign. The focus is also in front of the mirror. So the focal length will also be having a negative sign if you measure it from the pole because it is opposite to the direction of incident light. The object is standing upright on the principal axis. Hence, its distance will have a positive sign. While the image formed here is an inverted image, so its sign will be a negative sign. But we all know that for one condition, concave mirror forms a virtual image which is behind the mirror. In that case, the image distance V and the image height H dash will be having positive sign. Now with the sign convention and recalling the mirror formula, let's move to the first question. An object 2 cm in size is placed 30 cm in front of a concave mirror of focal length 15 cm. At what distance from the mirror should a screen be placed in order to obtain a sharp image? What will be the nature and size of the image formed? Draw a ray diagram to show the formation of the image in this case. So before moving to the solving or the solution part, let's first write what is given in the question. It is given that an object which is 2 cm in size, it indicates the height of the object. So h is equal to positive 2 cm. Now children always remember that whenever you write the given value, apply the sign convention there itself. It is placed 30 cm in front of a concave mirror. So it gives you the distance of the object that is where the object is placed in front of the concave mirror. So it will be u. u is equal to minus 30 cm because it is a concave mirror. And focal length is given f is equal to minus 15 cm. At what distance from the mirror should a screen be placed in order to obtain a sharp image? That means we have to find the image distance and what is the nature and size of the image form. We have to find the height of the image also. So we already have two values u and f and hence we have to just find the third value v using the mirror formula. The mirror formula is 1 by v plus 1 by u is equal to 1 by f. So from that 1 by v is equal to 1 by f minus 1 by u. Now substitute the values. So 1 by minus 15 minus of 1 by minus 30 minus and minus get cancelled. You can either use the LCM method or you can use the cross multiplication method to solve this equation. So you will get 15 by minus 450 which is 1 by V. So 1 by V is 15 by minus 450 which is minus 1 by 30 which means V is equal to you have to take the reciprocal. So V is equal to minus 30 centimeter. So first part of the question is over that is we have obtained the uh, distance where the sharp image is formed now next we have to find the size of the image we already have a formula which is related to magnification we know magnification m is equal to minus v by u that is h dash by h where h dash is the height of the image 
from that we can make a formula h dash is equal to minus v into h by u again substitute the values while substituting always remember to put the sign convention so you get the answer h dash is equal to minus 2 centimeter what will be the nature of this image and we have to draw a ray diagram also so you check the focal length and the distance of the object we can understand the distance of the object is double that means object is at c hence the nature of image is of same size real and inverted question number two an object four centimeter in size is placed at a distance of 25 centimeter from a concave mirror of focal length 15 centimeter find the position nature and height of the image also draw a ray diagram for this image formation so from the question the given values are object 4 cm in size means height plus 4 cm it's placed at a distance of 25 cm from the mirror so u that is object distance u is equal to minus 25 cm and focal length f is equal to minus 15 cm similar to the previous question in this question also we have to find the image distance and height of the image so let's use mirror formula 1 by f is equal to 1 by u plus 1 by v from which we get the formula 1 by v is equal to 1 by f minus 1 by u substitute the values 1 by minus 15 minus of 1 by minus 25 now these minus and minus will become plus you can either solve this by using the cross multiplication or LCM method I have taken the cross multiplication method so I will get 1 by v is equal to 10 by minus 375 and we have to take the reciprocal here v is equal to minus 375 by 10 that is minus 37.5 centimeter in order to find the height of the image, let's use the magnification formula. From magnification formula, we know that minus V by U is equal to H dash by H. So from that, we have H dash is equal to minus V into H by U. All the values are already there. Just substitute the values. So you will get minus of minus 37.5 into 4 divided by minus 25. It will become 150 by minus 25. So h dash is equal to minus 6 centimeter. Now we have to find the nature of the image. Now h dash is a negative value. It shows that it is an inverted image and inverted images are always real image. So it's a real inverted image and compare the height of the object and height of the image. Height of the image is more. So it's an enlarged image. Now let's find the position of the object. If you see the focal length is 15 centimeter but the object is at 25 centimeter. So it means it is not at C. It is in between C and F. So here is your ray diagram and the nature of the image is real inverted and enlarged image so now let's move on to the third question an arrow 2.5 centimeter high is placed at a distance of 25 centimeter from a diverging mirror of focal length 20 centimeter find the nature position and size of the image formed so before moving to the given value let's uh, remember that the mirror given here is a diverging mirror which is convex mirror and for convex mirror there is a small change in the sign convention applied we know that for convex mirror the focus is a virtual focus and the image formed is also a virtual image so in this case uh, the image distance and focal length both will be having positive sign as well as the height of the image since it's a virtual image the image will be an erect image and hence the height of the image will also have a positive sign so remembering this let's write the values given so it is given focal length 20 centimeter so f is equal to positive 20 centimeter arrow 2.5 centimeter high placed at a distance of 25 centimeter so height of the object arrow is the object here so height of the object h is equal to 2.5 centimeter that is also positive but u since we are keeping the object in front of the mirror u will be always negative in any kind of mirror u will be always negative so u is equal to minus 25 centimeter as usual we have to use the mirror formula to find the position and size of the image form let's first find the position so 1 by v is equal to 1 by f minus 1 by u now let's substitute the values 1 by 20 minus of 1 by minus 25 so minus and minus will become positive you can use lcm method or you can go for cross multiplication and you will get 1 by v is equal to 45 by 500 or v is equal to 11.11 centimeter so you can observe here that v the value that you obtain here is a positive value it is because convex mirrors form virtual images so the images are formed behind the mirror hence it will have a 
positive value. In order to find the height of the image, h dash is equal to minus v into h by u. Substitute the values and you will get h dash is equal to 1.11 centimeter. It's a convex mirror, so obviously we know that it will be virtual, erect and diminished image. Now let's move on to the next question. At what distance from a concave mirror of focal length 10 cm should an object 2 cm long be placed in order to get an erect image 6 cm tall? So here the given values are focal length that you have already known. Object 2 cm long means the height of the object plus 2 cm and image 6 cm tall. So here the height of the image is given and you are asked to find at what distance this object should be placed. So you are asked to find u the object distance now the formula that connects v u f and h dash and h is the magnification formula minus v by u is equal to h dash by h so let's start from this formula substitute for h dash and h you will get minus v by u is equal to 6 by 2 is equal to 3 so now let's equate it as v is equal to minus 3 u so we have converted v in terms of u and we will use this value that is 3u as the value to find the object distance. So let's move on with the mirror formula 1 by f is equal to 1 by u plus 1 by v. In place of v substitute minus 3u. So 1 by u plus 1 by minus 3u. Moving on with the cross multiplication method minus 3u plus u divided by minus 3u into u which is minus 2u by minus 3u into u or 2 by 3u. Now, if we have the value 1 by minus 10 is equal to 2 by 3u, so 3u is equal to minus 20 or u is equal to minus 20 divided by 3, which is minus 6.7 centimeter. Now, which ray diagram will you choose to this? You can see the focal length is 10 cm, but the object distance is minus 6.7 cm. That means it is less than focal length, so the object is in between focus and the pole. That means this is the case where the concave mirror forms a virtual image. Question number 5. A convex mirror used for rear view on an automobile has a radius of curvature of 3 meter. If a bus is located at 5 meter from this mirror, find the position, nature and magnification of the image. Again, here we are using convex mirror, so we have to use the sign convention accordingly. The radius of curvature R is given 3 meter. Bus is located 5 meter from the mirror, which is the object distance U is equal to minus 5 meter. We have to find the position, nature and magnification. So from radius of curvature, we can get the focal length F is equal to R by 2, 1.5 meter. Let's move on with the mirror formula. 1 by V is equal to 1 by F minus 1 by U. Substitute the values. You can go with the cross multiplication or LCM method. You will get 1 by V is equal to 6.5 by 7.5. Take the reciprocal to find the value of the image distance. So we will get V is equal to 1.15 meter. So we have got the position of the image. So whenever position of the image is asked, you are actually asked to find the image distance. Now we have to find the magnification of the image. Direct formula minus V by U. Substitute the values. You will get M is equal to 0 0.23. The positive value shows that it's an erect virtual image and since the value is less than 1, it's a diminished image. So the nature of image here is virtual, erect and diminished. So I hope that you have understood how we have solved these 5 problems based on mirror formula. Always apply the sign convention when you write the given values itself. This will help you to avoid any sort of confusions or mistakes while you proceed. Thank you for watching this video and if you liked this video hit the like button and share the video among your friends. Still if you have not subscribed to the channel, please show your love and support by subscribing the channel and hitting the bell icon.